Welcome to Insider Medicine in Depth. I'm Dr. Susan Sharma. Two different types of blood thinning drugs used either alone or in combination do not appear to help women who experience recurrent miscarriages give birth to a live baby, according to research published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Here is some information about miscarriage. It refers to a pregnancy that ends spontaneously before the fetus can survive. Common causes include an improperly formed fetus, infection, and various medical conditions conditions in the mother. In some cases, miscarriages may result when the mother has a blood clotting disorder, which can prevent an adequate amount of blood from reaching the fetus. Researchers from the University of Leiden randomly assigned over 350 women who had a history of multiple miscarriages and who were either trying to get pregnant or were less than six weeks pregnant to one of three treatment groups. The first group received a daily dose of aspirin plus daily injections of nadroparin. The second group received 80 milligrams of aspirin alone and the third group received a placebo. There was no difference among the three groups of women with respect to the proportion who gave birth to a live baby. Even after looking only at the women who actually became pregnant, the researchers could not find any evidence that any of the treatments increased the likelihood of giving birth to a live baby. We had a chance to speak with Dr. Saskia Middeldorp, one of the investigators of this study who offered some further insight. We investigated whether um, treating women who have suffered from recurrent miscarriage, uh, whether they would benefit from uh, anticoagulant or antiplatelet drugs, so mainly blood thinners. And the whole idea behind uh, that um, the drug for this indication is that perhaps clotting in the placental tissue would cause recurrent miscarriage. And during the last years, there's been a lot of attention drawn to this, and there's also a lot of debate about whether the evidence that was out there uh, was good enough to really uh, justify using these drugs in pregnant women. And basically, at the end of the trial, we found out that approximately two-thirds of the women who became pregnant did get a live baby, uh, but there was no, absolutely no difference between the treatment groups. However, the women who were treated with, um, with, the, with studied drugs, so the aspirin and the heparin or the aspirin alone, did have a lot of bruises and also in particular the heparin group who injected themselves had a lot of itching and, and, and nuisance from the injections. So there was more harm than, and there was no benefit at all. So that's really the most important conclusion from our trial, that we should not treat women who have recurrent miscarriage with either aspirin or aspirin and heparin. Today's research suggests that blood thinning drugs, used either alone or in combination, do not reduce the risk of miscarriage in susceptible women who are not known to have a blood clotting disorder. If you are pregnant or trying to get pregnant, follow your doctor's advice about which drugs to take or to avoid. For Insider Medicine In Depth, I'm Dr. Susan Sharma.